Where'd you get them? How'd you get them? Way up north in a house that's new. There were four of us, me, your big feet, and you. From your ankle up, I'd say you sure are sweet. From that down, you just too much feet. Your feet's too big. Don't want you cause your feet's too big. Can't you use you cause your feet's too big. I love you cause your feet's too big. I figure if we get married right away, Tefta's gonna split. I mean, not even Tefta is crazy enough to live with a married couple, right? Oh, Bobo! How do you think that to? To be a last, my boots, Gurban! Well, you could have fooled me. <laughs> she devil, the one with the red hair there, she devil! Oh, just relax, it's from a bottle. It is? <laughs> I want you! Well, I, I want Mary. <sighs> Don't speak to me of that vixen! She's not a vixen, she's my fiance. Then you'll be leaving? No, I stay and suffer. No, you stay, I suffer. <laughs> Even better. Did they do that someplace else? They have. They were in Harry's loft till noon. My stomach just left my body. Oh, George, you are such a prude. Look, Harry and Yetta have deep feelings for each other, and they express themselves physically, which I think is perfectly... Hey, hey, Missy, you just crossed the line. Well, this is too intimate. I mean, they're like a, another couple around here. I'm sure they'd be happier in their own place. This is Harry's home. He wouldn't want to live anywhere else. <laughs> if I read what you've written? Oh, no, this is just the uh, list for Brett's wedding. Oh, well, you're real good at writing lists. I'm also good at writing chapters. Oh. Acknowledgements. Oh. To my editor, Marcia Franklin, thanks for the wonderful lunch. <laughs> Nancy, you've never had lunch with Miss Franklin. It so happens we're having lunch tomorrow. We are? Yes, we are. Well, I are. I am. This is unacceptable. George! We're having lunch, not to discuss our book. Miss Franklin wants to see some of my other writing. Oh, well, maybe you could show him your list. Oh, that's rich. Look, look, this is no way to run a partnership. Obviously, we can't work together. Forget it. There is no book. No. I'll knock it off. I hope you're 
decent. Coming up. Uh, How you two? Look. Brought you some apples. Wow. You fix this place up nice. Yeah. Just like home, huh? Well, actually not just like home, but pretty darn close. Say, where's everybody, huh? I like a morgue downstairs. Well, it's not just like a morgue, but it's pretty darn close. <laughs> Oh, please, she's not even here. <laughs> they say it's so bad, she screams like a woman. She is a woman. Who are you? Walter? Shut up, Walter. No, Captain, don't start. Listen to me. Mary and I are getting married tomorrow. You're going to have to live with it. No! Yes. No! Is this hurting anybody else's head? Look, I got to go. Sorry. No! Start that again. I'm sorry. I know. Oh, my heart crumbles in the little pieces like the pebbles in the Mount Lushna. Mount Lushna in Albania? You know Mount Lushna? Well, sure. Yeah, I spent a month there studying the grazing habits of goats. <clears throat> you like goats? Who doesn't? You smell like God. Uh, I do. I'm sorry. Uh, I was upstairs with Harry and yet I'll just go home and take a shower. Come back later. I will brust your lantern. Okay. You're a really beautiful woman. Um, you'll find somebody who loves you. And lamp tongue. He smells like God. I love that in the man. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Rogers. He isn't. Let me guess. You were just in the neighborhood. I don't find that funny. I said I don't find that funny. Customs Department, Washington, D.C. office. We're here for the Bigfoot. Harry's out for a walk. Not Harry, the other Bigfoot. Oh, Yetta, she, she doesn't exist. I know she's here, Raphael squealed like a woman. Hey, you send this Raphael to me, I make him into man. Mr. Rogers, I don't know what you're talking about. You'd better leave now. Get her, Gus. You can't do this. This warrant says I can. If you want her, you have to take me too. I hope you like Chinese food. They have a lot of it in China. Hi, you guys. We got the most gorgeous wedding cake. It's Bavarian cream. It's still get a mocha. <laughs> we have bad news. The wedding's off. No, they're gone. Brett and Mary eloped? I'm rich. So, <laughs> oh, Daddy, Yetta and Tefta. Yetta and Tefta eloped? Well, they make her a cute couple. That guy, Tom Rogers, took them away. He's sending them to China. The kids tell me Tefta threw herself in harm's way to protect Yetta. She's one amazing Albanian. Uh, oh, no, Harry's gonna go crazy. Uh, uh. No! 
Nighty night. Nighty night, mommy. You came for me. So strong, so brave. So selfless. So sexy. You did good. No, we did good. said, nighty-night, Mommy, and he was out like a light. <laughs> Great. Brett, we're finished. I now belong to the man who saved me. Don't cry. <coughs> I'll try. <laughs> Come, Walter, I give you broasted lamb tongue. Come on. Ooh. Ow, ow. Glad you find <sighs> Oh, free at last. So, the wedding is on tomorrow like you planned? Well, not unless you want an uninvited guest. When Mr. Rogers wakes up, he's going to come here looking for Yetta. Yeah, we've got to get her to safety right away. Yeah. Cool. We'll take her to the woods. Honey, if we take Yetta to the woods, you know, Harry's going to want to go with her. Yeah. Uh, Yetta and Harry are going to make a new life for themselves in the woods. See, what I'm trying to say is you're going to have to let them go. Dad, you have. Right. He climbs like mountain goat. I love that no man. Where Brett Mary? No, Uncle Brett thought he saw a snake. Oh. What? Brett! What? I'm entitled to have beers. Yeah, you owe me one. Cave I found yet. Harry, yada. Yes, I think Harry's found himself a home. Home? Huh. Oh. Well, yeah, I guess with some decorating, it's, you know, got decent bones. Maybe a chenille bedspread and make that into a nice little master bedroom, eat in kitchen kind of thing, conversation pit. Nancy? Yeah, and I think there's a nice entertainment flow here with a skylight or two. Nancy. Oh, George, I, I'm going to miss him so much. Mom. Oh, Harry. Mom, don't cry. Oh, Harry. Mm -hmm. I want you to have this, Harry. shoving off. <clears throat> I don't know what to say. Goodbye. that much to you? I can marry you right here. You? <laughs> yeah, when I was in Nepal, I became a monk. You're a monk? Oh, I'd love that, the man. <laughs> no, no, double no. 
Uh, I'm sorry, but all my life I've dreamt of getting married in a white lace wedding dress with an organist in tails playing Here Comes the Bride. I'm sorry, but I'm not gonna pick, but we're just not in the dream. Listen, Mary, um... I mean, the most important thing about a wedding day is that it's something that you'll never forget, right? I mean, how can anybody ever forget this? Nancy, will you be my maid of honor? Oh, you bet. <laughs> and you can be my flower girl. <laughs> Frank Douglas, do you take Mary to be your wife? To love and honor? Oh. <laughs> Sorry, it's been a while. <clears throat> in sickness and in health... Um... <laughs> stupid me. For better, for worse, uh, as long as you both shall live. I do. <laughs> um, the ring, please. Oh. <laughs> a napkin ring? We found it in the picnic basket. Uh. <laughs> Mary, do you take Brett to, uh... Oh, darn. Do the same. Right. Uh, to do the same. I do. Okay, then, by the power vested in me by the Society of Nepalese Monks, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Uh. 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 Yes, uh. Why not? Okay. Um, I now pronounce you husband and wife, too. Oh, you may kiss the Yeti. get a hold of you guys. Well, as soon as we get settled, we'll call. No, collect. <laughs> Always know there's a room here for you. It'll be locked, but it's here. <laughs> well, G-Man, thanks for letting me ruin your life for a little while. It's been a lot of fun. And I'll, uh... I know. <laughs> <laughs> Take care. Thanks. See ya. Drive carefully. Where are you two off to? Back to Albania. Both of you? Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm gonna be doing some field work there. Uh, We're gonna roll naked in those fields. <laughs> I love that in a woman. Well, uh, always know that you're welcome. In your native land. <laughs> that is the door for me. Oh, honey, have a good weekend and call when you get to the dorm. Okay. okay. You'll be careful now, honey. <laughs> All right, I'll see you Sunday. <sighs> Won't be long before she's going off to college for good. Yeah. Well, at least we have Ernie. Hmm. That's for me! <laughs> Hi, Ernie. You look really hot. So do you. Don't worry, I won't have them home too late. <laughs> kind of quiet here. Yeah, too quiet. So what have you been working on? Oh, just some stuff. It's nothing special, kind of a diary. Mind if I read it? No. We walked away from the cave. And I couldn't resist the impulse to look back. There they were. Harry and his bride, as ancient as the woods, as young as hope. I let my mind and my heart absorb the last picture of them as I said a silent thank you to Mother Nature for allowing our family to care for one of her most noble creatures. Like I said, it was just some stuff. It's beautiful, honey. Do you really think so? How would you like to write a book with me? I'd like that a lot. My Life with Bigfoot by Nancy and George Henderson. Mm. George and Nancy Henderson. I love you. Me too. Mm. I know. I was thinking. 
thinking that really we haven't done enough research on this book. Yeah, well, I was thinking the same thing. I mean, because research is always good. You never get enough research. No. Nope. 